My vampire friend is back to help us with question 12. A clueless kid is trying out for the track team. He starts racing at the start line, then runs the following velocity time graph. During which time intervals is he accelerating? Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Vampire. Let's look at the graph about the clueless kid. He's clueless because he seems to be running forwards and backwards in every which way. When is he accelerating? That is to say, when is his velocity increasing over time? It's pretty clear that from zero to two minutes on this graph, this is an acceleration. Here, no acceleration. His velocity is constant. So what's happening from four minutes to a little over six minutes? This time he's decelerating or undergoing a negative acceleration. Not here. How about from a little after six minutes to eight minutes? What's happening to his velocity? Well, notice here his velocity is zero, then negative one, then negative two, then negative three, and negative four. That is absolutely an acceleration. His velocity is getting larger over time. It just happens to be going in the negative direction. This is an acceleration. At this point, his velocity is going from negative four back towards zero, not an acceleration. So the two accelerations on this graph are here and here. Let's go ahead now and address question 13. For the clueless track kid in this problem, what is his displacement during the first five minutes of his run? Let's find five minutes on the graph here. And let's recall that on a velocity time graph, I want to find the area under the curve. Let me make one note here. This is in minutes. Five minutes should be converted to seconds before attempting this problem. Okay, to make my math easier, I'm going to remember that I know how to find the areas of rectangles and triangles only. So I'll start at two minutes, and I find a, one simple right triangle. What's the area of this space? I'll leave that to you to work out. I see a simple rectangle um, here. What's the area of this space? That's your job. Finally, remember, I, I don't care about this space over here. Only want to go to five minutes. I have this weird trapezoidy thing. Hey, if you happen to remember that equation, go for it. I can't ever remember it. This point here, it's okay because I ask you to round to the nearest whole number. Call that a height of three. I'm going to make this into a triangle. And another rectangle. One, two, three, four. Those four areas added together are going to give you his distance traveled in five minutes. Keep in mind, five minutes needs to be made in two seconds to get the correct answer.